Hey guys, and welcome back to How to Make Elements from Household Materials, and today's element is going to be boron. Now, in a previous video we did make some boron, and we extracted it from borax. And we did so by reacting borax with hydrochloric acid to produce boric acid, and then decomposing the boric acid to boron trioxide, and reducing with magnesium to form the boron. This method works, however, it only yields impure 60 to 70 percent boron, so today we're going to be trying to make some more pure boron. Now another excellent source of boron exists in neodymium rare earth magnets. These are an alloy of neodymium, iron, and boron, and then coated in nickel to prevent corrosion. So I have here four small magnets to extract the boron from, and to begin, all we're going to need to do is add some hydrochloric acid to the magnets. Hydrochloric acid is sold at stores such as Canadian Tire as muriatic acid, and it's quite cheap and easy to buy. Now, as I mentioned before, the rare earth magnets contain nickel, neodymium, boron, and iron, and everything will dissolve except for a boron in the hydrochloric acid. Now this reaction does proceed at room temperature, however, quite slowly, so we're going to need to be heating it up just to speed up the reaction. So you can see that after heating up, we're left with this dark green solution, and we're going to need to pass this through a coffee filter, first remove the larger particles, and then put it through a fine filter paper to catch any residual boron. So you can see here that the solution that passed through the filter is green, and I did have to add a bit of water to it to help everything get through, and to make sure that we wash our boron. But uh, this should contain the iron and neodymium chlorides, and we can save this to the side for future projects so we can extract some neodymium from it. Everything in the filter paper should ideally be boron, and you can see that it is a silverish to brownish color, which is exactly what we're looking for. Boron generally has that grayish to brown color. Anyhow, I'll go ahead and scrape off this boron here and let it dry. So you can see that once it's dried, I simply transferred it to a test tube and melted it to make it into an ampule. I did weigh the test tube beforehand, so we can see that we have 0.35 grams of boron in this ampule. And as I mentioned before, it's that nice grayish brown color. Anyhow, this is how to extract boron from neodymium magnets, and I hope you guys enjoyed this project. I'll see you in a future video. Okay, bye.